Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in the process of packing and getting ready for a trip to New York. I have a wedding and it's been a while since I did one of these so I'm going to show you guys my travel skincare, what I take with me when I go away, which is everything I need plus internet incidentals just in case all in one tiny little easy to travel kit. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because this is going to be not only the things I like enough to travel with, but a whole bunch of items in many little packages, tiny little, you know, sample size things that we get from like Sephora orders and uh, brands and things like that. So all of that is going to be in today's video. Let's jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to say is I will be filming later on in the week. I have a bunch of like makeup sample size products as well. I'm going to be doing a whole like, let's see if we can get a full face out of just minis. But today we're going to talk skincare. I do typically prefer to travel with mini size skincare because I don't want to have to travel giant bottles. And just in case there's an issue on the plane where like TSA takes something for some reason, not that I've ever had an issue with that, I don't want to lose a full bottle of product. So I'm going to take you through the whole skincare routine that's in here. This is a bag that came, it was a Look Fantastic Beauty box. I want to say from two or three months ago, but it's like the perfect size for travel skincare. And it's got a nice little zipper. And because you're flying with it, having a clear top is super helpful. So first I have reusable cotton rounds. It comes in a little burlapy bag. So I just close this, throw it right in the washing machine. I have like three or four days worth. I'm going to be at my parents' house, so I will absolutely be able to do laundry. So I have plenty to last me for the better part of, I will say, four days, give or take. So I have those, which I will be getting into. And I'm going to go through the skincare routine in order, starting with cleanser. I will have two. First, I have the Caudalie Vino Pure Purifying Gel Cleanser. I've spoken about this at length because it is an amazing cleanser, um, especially if you have oily, acne-prone skin or you're just breakout prone. The reason this is super helpful for me when I travel is obviously I'll be in an airplane wearing a mask, double masked, for a very long period of time. The entire travel process, I will be masked from the second I get to the first airport till the second I am in the car outside the second airport. So basically because of all of that, I want something that's going to decongest my pores and help to keep me from breaking out. I do have a gentle cleanser as well. This is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I have used this on my channel many, many, many times. I had full-size bottles I've reviewed. This has been a staple in my routine for a very long time, so I'm really happy that I have the travel size for traveling. And I do just want to say a lot of these are things that I got through like I placed a Sephora order and got some travel sizes or you know you go into Sephora and there's the sample sizes. Sometimes when you go into store there are vendors there from the brands and they will talk to you about product and they'll give you little ones and many times when brands reach out to me about sending product I will ask them you know whatever you're sending that's fine but if you can also send some minis that would be super helpful because I don't always like opening a brand new full size. I like to test out the small ones to know if I'm really going to like something before I commit to opening the full size which I have a couple items in here where that is absolutely the case. After we cleanse, we tone. So this is the Caudalie Vino Pure uh, Toner. This also is going to be part of the same Vino Pure line. So it is oil control, it is acne fighting, it is breakout fighting. This is fantastic. I've already half used the bottle, but this is one of those things that I would only use once a day. At night, I would probably use something else. So not a huge deal. Um, that's definitely enough for the week that I'll be away for both me and Brandon. Super gentle and not amazingly harsh on the skin, even though it will help with breakout prevention and any of that. I have two products that you can classify as an essence. The first is from Kiehl's. It is the Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. I've spoken about this at length. This is a fantastic product. I have a bottle in my bathroom that I'm almost done with. This is a brand new travel size version. You just shake it up. Great for exfoliating the skin. Boosts hydration, balances the skin, fantastic for all skin types, so amazing for travel. I do have a wedding while I'm in New York, so I will have makeup on. So I did also pack the Beekman 1802 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is the mini size, just for when I need to take my makeup off, because you should always take your makeup off and then cleanse the skin. So the fact that I have a mini balm makes me really happy. And what I like to do, and I'm a crazy person, so you'll just have to, like, bear with me. I did use this, but because I'm neurotic and when I travel, I want to know if everything is, like, safe, I did take a little bit of a lighter just to kind of melt this down and let it re-solidify. So it does look brand new, but that is a pro tip. 
Uh, I do this all the time. Like if I have to do a photo of a cleansing balm on Instagram or something, or I'm, you know, talking about a product and I don't want it to look all gross, I will melt it down, let it reform. I did the same thing with the RMS Beauty products that I featured on Instagram a couple days ago. I absolutely used them. I tried them. I played with them. And then when I wanted to take a picture, a little bit of a lighter just to melt down the top, let it dry, and it looked brand new. Also from Beekman, I have the Milk Foam Calming Bubble Mask. Fantastic for using on dry skin to, you know, nourish and hydrate and reboost the skin's natural lipid barrier. I'm really excited because every time I fly, my skin gets really, really dry and irritated. So I'm going to hope that this will help to calm that down. It is a product I've used once or twice. I probably have, in this size bottle, you probably have eight to ten uses. I've used it twice. So I'm confident that it's going to be good for after the flight. I'm just... Hopefully there's enough in there for like two or three uses so that Brandon and I can both use it, maybe more than once, because again, I gotta look good for this wedding and I really don't want my skin to be acting up. For serums, I'm only packing one because there's a lot of hydration in everything I'm doing. I have a travel size of the Caudalie Vino Pure. This is, again, part of that Vino Pure line. Uh, I have full sizes of all of these products, but I did ask for travel as well. And I'm already using the full size. I'm already a fan of this product, but I do have a brand new travel size so that I don't have to worry about it. And when I'm done using it, I can just recycle it there. I don't have to worry about packing big bottles to bring back. I also find, and I don't know if this is just with my mother, every time I go home, she like finds things to send me home with. So I always leave with more than I go with. So I always want to make sure that I can fill out my suitcase with some extra space by not having to take a whole lot of product back with me not counting the bunch of skincare and makeup I'm bringing down for her that I'm just packing to bring to her. So you know how it is. Uh, for eye cream, I have the Caudalie Premier Crew Eye. Uh, this is one of two travel size eye creams I have. I do have one from Kiehl's as well. The reason I like this one a little bit more for this trip is it has a little bit of a micronized pearl in it. So if you pat it into the under eye, it does lift and blur the under eye with a little bit of a sheen, so it does diffuse light. I find that it wears a little bit better under concealer. I love the Kiehl's Avocado, but it does break down into almost an oil, so I find concealer doesn't sit as well on top of it. So that's one I love for at night, but since I am going on a trip and space is limited, I did want to make sure that I only brought one eye cream. I did, however, pack two moisturizers. Both of them are very, very nourishing and very, very hydrating. One of them's a little bit thicker. So the thicker one is going to be the Lord Jones Acid Mantle Repair. I did a full review of the full size of this over on Instagram. I'm still really loving it. Great for the skin. It is a little bit of a thicker consistency, though. So this is more for at night. And then for thin, like more of a daytime, I have the Soft Moisture Cream from La Mer. This, all of these were sent to me, but... The La Mer, I have noticed that like long term, it's not a product that I feel can be my everyday moisturizer, but when I fly, when I travel, or when I really just need that beautiful nourishment under makeup, it sits so well. And since a lot of the other products I have are very salicylic based, anti-breakout, because I'm really trying to make sure I don't break out during this trip, having that extra nourishment and moisturizer in the moisturizer is definitely going to help. The last three items in this kit are the Indie Lee Banish Stick, just in case I do have a breakout or something that pops through. This is a great product for just, you know, dabbing onto the skin. It will uh, help with the irritation, the raised redness, and reduce the size of the breakout so it's a little bit less noticeable and less painful. And if it lays a little flatter, foundation can cover it a whole lot easier than if you're trying to hide something that is red and inflamed. Such a better alternative than picking a blemish. I also have the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is an antibacterial, antimicrobial. This is amazing for on the plane. I love taking this to mist inside my mask before I get on the plane because having that antibacterial, antimicrobial inside the mask means that, you know, breathing in a mask for five to seven hours while I'm traveling, it'll be a little bit better for me. Plus, I can use this to refresh my face while I'm on the plane. The mask will be on, but like this area will be exposed to a whole bunch of potential pathogens, irritants, and I'm not really out much. So being around people, I'm going to want to like disinfect my face as much as possible. So that is an amazing product for that. And lastly, for sunscreen, I actually have two of these, but they are the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF. It is a mineral sunscreen I've been playing around with. I will say I don't like it as much as the Murad City Skin, 
but it is a very good follow-up. It's only an SPF 30, whereas the Murad is an SPF 50, but it still doesn't leave a white cast, blends beautifully onto the skin, and it is absolutely fantastic because it's a mineral sunscreen that is still reef safe, so you don't have to worry about destroying the planet with your sunscreen. And that is my full skincare routine for travel, everything that goes into my little travel bag when I go on a plane and long term. Again, I'll only be gone a week, but I still have to make sure I have everything I need just in case. Let me know your thoughts down below and what are your holy grail staples that you make sure you bring every time you travel. Let me know down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!